gacha games have become a pretty significant part of the weeb community in recent years. However, the rise in popularity, as with everything on this earth, isn't without its controversies, with some disliking gacha games as a form of gambling. Either way, that wasn't gonna distract the companies from their golden goose. Or, I guess, golden chips? Cats? Waifus? Yes, golden everything! Golden Elon Musk! By the laws of physics, marketing is a bitch, and by the laws of marketing, Spamming the ever-living shit out of advertisements is a great way to get your gacha game's name out there. And what better advertisement than an entire goddamn anime depicting how cute your characters are. And so it began. Gacha game adaptations with varying levels of success. But one stood out and did the absolute unthinkable. It got a second season. Princess Connect Redive is a gacha game that only released in Japan at first and got an anime adaptation. As many of us saw this as a 3 hour long advertisement, we all ignored it and continued watching our quality anime. Little did we know, this wasn't a Grammarly level ad. This was a VTuber original song MV level ad. To give you a quick rundown on the premise, Yuki is a guy who woke up in the middle of a field one day with no memories other than his name and a girl named Kokoro calling him Master. Man, someone bonked me on the head with a frying pan. They meet a stupidly strong gorilla girl named Pecorine and travel to a city. A bunch of stuff happens and they along with a cat girl called Carl form a guild to eat delicious food. The anime follows their adventures in doing quests and occasionally journeying. That's Princess Connect. And yes, I agree. It sounds like the absolute most generic isekai garbage ever. Staler than expired bread. My five-year-old Asian cousin could write a better story asleep upside down with one foot. So yeah, I can absolutely see why something like this would be overlooked by most. Hell, even I did. But I'd like to attempt to erase the image given by this synopsis, if you can even call it that, and show you why I think Princess Connect is absolutely incredible. The first thing that you'd immediately notice right off the bat is production quality. Psy game must have had Jeff Bezos money from their game because holy fuck this is smoother than moisturized meat! I guess it's true when they say the only people with more money than successful stock investors is horny weebs. When I say quality, I don't mean just really good looking fights, it's really good looking everything. Like giving the tax evasion company a run for its money. No pun intended. It is draw-droppingly gorgeous, from the small body movements, to the backgrounds, to the absolutely insane fights. I'm not gonna go on rambling about visuals anymore because I think you can already tell by the footage playing, but it's incredible. See kids, this is why you invest your money into gacha games. You get returns like this, unlike Tesla stocks. So if you were to ask me what genre this anime is, I would answer everything. Literally. It just kind of does literally everything? You want chill slice of life comedy? Check! You want absolutely insane action? Check! You want a fucking Jun Maeda cry fest? Check! You want an idol show? Fucking take it! You want lore that runs deeper than fucking Kirby? Take it! Take it all! Take all the genres! Take my waifus! Take my food! Take my house! Take my baby! In short, this is a slice of life comedy horror idol action show. Okay, but no, seriously. I know it sounds chaotic as fuck, but it somehow works. This show is pretty much 40% moi wholesomeness, 30% Konosuba humor, and 30% actual plot with lore and crazy fight scenes. It starts off as a comfy slice of life, then hits you with random sudden tone shifts, then goes back to slice of life comedy wholesomeness. But you can kind of tell that the lore slowly builds up episode by episode. And to be honest, the many mysteries surrounding both Yuki and the world are genuinely interesting and feel deep. With every tiny piece of lore strung together, it feels like solving a puzzle. I think the best part about this anime is the fucking emotional whiplash some episodes can bring you. Like, slice of life with godlike animation is already great, but going from non non beauty wholesome to re-zero psychological horror in 10 seconds fucking sent my brain into a different dimension. Yet somehow it feels like it 
works because some of the lore gives off a bit of creepy vibes. This is the sort of natural unpredictability that I personally love and left both an impression and a level 10 fucking heart attack in me. And like any good show, the lore eventually builds to the climax, and all I'm gonna say is, after some of the shit in season 2, I was staring at a black screen with my mouth so fucking wide a cockroach could fly in and get fucking body deep throated. It's been two seasons, and though we've had plenty of lore revealed, it still feels like an endless hole of unknown info, and I love it. Maybe one day we'll achieve fate. Oh, who am I kidding? Surely we couldn't get more ridiculous than giving King Arthur tits. What the fuck is that a level 10 ugly bastard clown titan? A small thing I want to touch on is how it's based on a gacha game, but it manages the flow of a story very well. I have never even touched the game, so I have no idea how the story is compared to the anime, but as someone who hasn't touched the game, nothing felt off at all. It didn't feel like I needed any prior game knowledge to enjoy the anime, nor did it feel like a blatant game ad. It actually feels like its own anime with its own identity, and I think that really is well done. See corporates? Maybe making ads feel less like ads is a good marketing strategy, so write that down, write that down, write that down! Oh, and if you're asking why I'm such an economical professional, it's because I have a PhD in economics. By watching Spice and Wolf. Princess Connect is a supposed gacha game ad that has absolutely blown all my expectations away. For once in my life, the fucking gacha game ad worked and actually made me want to gamble all my money away on the game. I mean, look at this! Even if you lose gacha, your money is going to grass! This is fucking beautiful! Your gacha luck did not die in vain! I've always passed off gacha game anime as the skip button anime, but Princess Connect has taught me a lesson. Just as you don't judge a book by its cover, don't judge a gambling addiction by its utility. This anime is goddamn incredible. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, then be sure to subscribe for more weeb content. With that, I'm gonna go start a gambling addiction and go into depth by waifus.